What up, everybody? What is up? It is us, the normies. Here to react to the new Dune, Dune. trailer. Dune or Doom? Dune. Dune. It's I Dune. It's D U N E. Okay, these guys probably don't know that much about Dune. I'm excited to like see a trailer. But I will just give you guys a little bit of history. Dune was a movie made back in 1984. Oof. I think it was made after a book, if I'm very much correct. The 1984 movie wasn't as good as it could have been because of, uh, I think, budget and just a lot of issues about when it was made. Because the movie was really, really far for its time. And uh, there was a, a, a guy named Jodorowsky from Correct. He wanted to uh, make a version of Dune that was, like, far better. Like, his version of Dune was, like, very futuristic, very crazy but like i just it never went through and there was a whole uh documentary it's called jodorowsky's dune and it's pretty good documentary it explains this whole method and why that movie never worked out and we just kind of went over budget from what i remember if i'm wrong in any of this please correct me internet you guys will probably do that interesting so. i feel like is, I, I like the shows are like we're too young for its time then yeah come back. so this is the one i feel like they made that now that because of all the special effects and all the craziness this one is the one i feel like it will be more true to like the mm -hmm. dune that everybody knows and remembers and what it will be so yes and sir joins us basically i was just giving a little brief history of what i know about dune about the 1984 one and then how there was one this guy was supposed to make john rouse and didn't work out because it was yeah. way too wait for his time that was the version i uh i showed naheed this documentary and it yes, was you actually were the one that showed it to me it was comic book girl 19's recommendation yes. you other the dune it would have been like the perfect movie he had like freaking uh, what's his name? He had Salvador <laughs> Dali as the villain. There we go. He had like fucking Sir saving the reaction. I can't remember. <gasps> sorry, bar, bar, bar. Huh? But basically, he he had went out of his way to get like the best people, like the guy who did all the the fan art and conception art for Alien and shit, and like Star Wars and basically all the sci-fi you've seen throughout the years was, you know, like conceived by these like pages of this Dune script that never got made. But obviously there were there was that 1980s yeah, version. Yeah, there were other versions, it. but I'm hoping this is faithful to that's hopefully what, not only the books but the version that you know Joe Dorosky wanted. That's to what do. everybody actually. That's what everybody's hoping for this one, oh, shit. and that okay. is the case. And Joe Dorosky even is kind of skeptical about watching it because it's not his. He's like, well, can it be done? Mean. So yeah. this is kind of the answer. And I forget the guy who wrote. Oh my God, I had his name in my head. I forget. But regardless, let's jump right into it. We you shall guys. see. Let's just see. This ain't no market substitute. Support. Not. Support. This is crush. What's his name again? Timothy Calamay. He was in uh, The King, and Netflix was really good. Is that Zendaya? Zendaya. What did you see? Sorry, I have the trick today. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. Turn it up a little bit. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. Oh shit. And you die. What's in the box? Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Josh Brolin? Oh. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. Ah! Oscar Isaac. The entire planet is losing it. He's getting a richer one. Oh shit, what is that? Hey! Batista? What the yeah, hell? Batista, what the fuck? They're killing my family off one by one. Let's fight them. What a cast. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off his own leg to escape. Why do I know her? What will you do? Seriously, what a cast. Yeah. This looks really good. Yeah, man.
fears the mind killer. Ooh. But the fear is gone. Only I will remain. What is this gonna be? Oh. Space butthole. Really Javier really Bardem good. is in it too. Damn man, what a cast! I it am was really so good. Good. space. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so like it's 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 I not like to, I have to see yeah. the first failed one. I wonder why. I know. I I I, don't like, I still can't tell if this is. See, I don't know much. I didn't read the books. I don't know Mickey had the book, but like Only I don't know I if it's faithful to the books or to that. Only thing I remember from that damn movie is fucking that that big snake or whatever. Mm -hmm. My cousin. uh Fucking Mustafa, we watch this shit. See, like the the version that Yodorowsky pitched was more like psychedelic and kind of like had really funky designs and character designs and ship designs. I didn't quite see that here, but the story seems to be more faithful to like I think, to, to what the original source was. This is from my limited knowledge. I I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I th if, Looked exciting. I guess from like what you guys are saying, I, they're going more of the like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not comparing at all, but like Star Wars, Marvel kind of polished look versus like the trippy kind of like just figure out what you want to figure out in a movie. Yeah, certainly rounds. with Batista and Aquaman in there. And oh uh, my God, Jason! You got uh, Josh Brolin in there. This is an all-star. That was Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin in there too. They got Thanos. Looked like he was training. Uh, yeah, that was Josh Brolin. Yeah, we the guy that was training. Him. Bro, I've been so noticing they've been like literally just giving small clippets of these big stars and fucking and uh. In the reactions, bro, like for like Batman one, I didn't realize who the fuck where the world until we went back and we saw it again. And then, Colin Farrell. And Colin right. Farrell was in there. Yeah. I didn't um, realize it was Colin Farrell. I do feel like there's good writing in this, though. I like a lot of the one-liners I heard in the what was given in well, three minutes. We shall see how the writing is. So, we'll Weirdly, we'll some, I, mean, I was watching Scott Pilgrim vs. the World again because I had seen it forever. And Timothy Charlemagne's young ass is in it. Like I saw, I just I know I just recently saw him somewhere. I think it was that, but. What is it about this dude that makes him the leading man now? He's 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 starting to he's been like low key, in the sideline in the spotlight, and now he's like he's one of he's our um, he's yeah. one of our editors' crush, and like she showed me pictures of him the other day. Like I'm like, bro, you can't stop. Show I cannot see it. She was got yeah. yeah. She showed me like dude, five, hey, ten. Pictures. Be, I'm like, just not what I'm finding attractive. He, I don't get it. He he killed it in the king. Yeah, he really did. He was very very good. But he looks like a really good actor, and like you know he has the face, so. He really does have the face. He's got the leading man face. Yeah, he's got the jaw. <laughs> I'm saying he, he looks good. I mean, no, he looks good. I'm not saying like he's my type of like he looks good. Like he like can act yeah. too. I don't know. I'm I'm excited, but I did want to see more crazy imagery and like extravagant locations. I think his name was H. R. Giger or whatever that did like the the story art for the original Yodorowsky's Dune, and he did like the alien stuff, and he did like the Star Wars stuff that they used. Throughout oh, the years, okay. but I, I, I don't know. This looks fun. This looks cool. I, I like when they keep trailers without a lot of info, but yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you all for watching with us. See you on the next one. Peace. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. And a big shout out to Aaron, Desiree, Eleanor, Explorin, Tacos, Joe Mags, Jules, Yagami, Michael, Nick, Pavi, Quentin, Ricky, Ruby, Bystander, Tristan, Keyboard Junkie, NYR Fan, and ZJP. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.